something that can't be buffered and mm -hmm. battered around by yeah well maybe the that's why it's others. better to seek peace than victory if you have any right. sense you seek peace you know and so and in the situations i've been in with the journalists that have gone after me it it isn't that i wish them defeat because i don't i wish that we would actually have a real conversation that would be much better but i'm not trying to attain i'm not trying to defeat them in the conversation well you know I'll tilt in that direction now and then because I get I get <laughs> what would you say I get impatient and 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 all of that you know but sure. but it's not it's not something I'm I'm happy about afterwards I think no no it would have been way better if we would have just had a conversation you know and you see these things coming out on YouTube that Jordan Peterson takes down a social justice warrior God there must be fifty thousand of those bloody things by now and you know they're they're well they're obviously clickbait and but they miss the point it's like no no you you don't want to you don't you want peace if you have any sense you want peace you don't want to defeat someone certainly not enough to make them into an enemy that's unless you want enemies yeah yeah it's it's aligning to the truth of your principles not trying to mm. defeat the enemy that which you resist persists mm. it's that you, if you're fighting against something rather than fighting for something mm. you're going to be way less effective mm. fight for the good mm. not against the bad mm. right you know and i think right that's right a really well, that, subtle and, yeah well and that's right and i do think that that's aligned with that idea of, of turning the other cheek is that, yeah. it's, that you need and i've been thinking too is the way if victory is peace then the, the person who attains peace is the person who tells the better story that's it's a competition between stories and i think yeah. that's also what's playing out right now in our cultures there's a collectivist story that's being purveyed and there's an individualist story that's being purveyed and well we'll see which one prevails i think the individualist story it's not selfish individualism obviously it's it's enlightened individualism but i think it's a much more compelling story for people